Corey go no basketball. I don't mean they die to you. May the remain sheen to you. More just like you bought her something, something, something. I gotta stop there. You guys watch my videos, know why I have to stop there. Now, great week's episode. Before Kings were Kings, before Giants were Giants, before Jordan ever picked up a basketball. No, no, not that far. You my point. Akashi was right. I taught you everything you know, Kirko. One day you will realize that. We get what he meant. We understand what he meant when he says that. He did teach Kirko his misdirection pass. He did. He basically gave him the tools and Kirko used them. All right, in his own way. And he said something like that. I gave him the string or ladder or whatever, and, you know, he has to climb up. It took him three months to get it. You know, he basically went to the library and was like, yeah, so this is what I'm going to do. This is going to be my ability. This is going to be how I'm going to help the team. And I don't have our meaning super speed and this agility and this ability to score. We don't have Mitterima's rainbow three-pointers. I don't have Akashi's Emperor Eye that allows him to do whatever the hell he wants with anybody in the world, okay? He could, I mean, he's, not I mean, uh, Akashi's freaking, he's freaking, a, he's a superhero, yo. He has superhero powers. All right, it's not even, we're not even talking about basketball here. Our freaking Akashi's, no, no. You know, I don't have Mirasaki Bar's monster defense, all right? So, Mr. Russian Pass. That's what he got. Now, we're at the beginning. We see them basically in the start of the episode signing up for um, clubs. And, you know, everyone wants Murph's like a bar because his height. Everyone wants um, Kisei. The girls want Kisei to join the third club because they're like, oh, you're cute, whatever. You know, um, Alamine. It's like, oh, when I'm joining the basketball club, of course. You know, I'm, I'm a boss. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. Um, and surprisingly, what I got, two things. Akashi's was really nice in middle school. He's like, yeah, so, you know, yeah. Akashi was really nice. He had a, a chauffeur, a chauffeur or whatever. Chauffeur. Chauffeur, and he was he was nice to all his teammates. He wasn't bossy or anything. Like, he was, he was nice. And then you have Aomine. Aomine, I didn't know he was as, as friendly with, um, I was going to call him Tuzna from, uh, Reborn, but Koriko, I don't know he was as friendly with Koriko as uh, displayed in the episode. He was really, 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 really friendly with Koriko. You know, he even told the dude, yo, don't kick him off the team. Don't demote him. All right. If you demote him, I'll, I'll, you know, get demoted myself. Don't do that. I'm like, yo, when did Aumine and Koriko become this close? I mean, I remember watching season one, season two. I don't. I knew they were cool, but I remember um, Corico saying, "Yo, we disagree on everything, except for basketball." But I didn't know they were uh, that close. What they would practice together in the gym, you know, every day. I had no idea that he's definitely closest with Aomine on the whole team, by far. So um, it was awesome to see their origins. I've been wanting to see go back to middle school, see Midorima. Um, Akashi, Aomine, and Murasaki Bar. I wanted to see them in middle school play together for a long time now. So to finally get to see it, I'm like, yo, this is awesome. I'm looking forward to next week, uh, next week's episode. We got to that. And um, if it was going to be re uh, reviewing Corey going to basketball after so long, man, because obviously I missed the first, second seasons, um, very beginning of the third season. And then, uh, I know some people reviewing the show, but it's a popular show. It's like One Piece, you know. When it comes to reviewing, you know, you find a you you Google like you YouTube one of One Piece episodes. You'll find endless people with reviews on One Piece, reviews on Naruto, um, Bleach chapters, you know. So, we're going to basketball that same way. So, um, I'm thankful to be reviewing it in a great week's episode. I'm looking forward to the origins and the follow ups of uh. Corico getting better, becoming the sixth man. Another confusing thing. Why is the captain of their team a bench warmer? 
I was like, yo, why is he sitting on the bench? He's the captain. I know they're evaluating the rookies, the first years, but he's just, he's the captain of the team. Why is Corico the sixth man? Yo, you had your starters. Why is Corico the sixth man? What are you doing if you're the captain? I'm guessing he's just the assistant coach. I have no idea, but with that being said, a great week's episode. Um, looking forward to the origins and the... Yeah, you guys enjoy your night.